from strange secrets on the Fortnite map to insane myths using new items. Today, we're gonna break Fortnite and it will blow your mind. So, apparently, there's a weird glitch. For whatever reason, shield kegs don't work if you're inside an RV. So, if I go in here and throw it to. Huh? Where'd it go? Hello? Mr. Shield Keg? What? It's floating. And then it disappears. Um, okay. So yeah, I get no shield for that. Thank you, Fortnite. Myth confirmed. That's actually a super insane glitch. Now I'm sad. All right. If this works, it's insane. Let me show you guys something crazy. First, you need a balloon. One of these guys. Then you need a portable. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to fall off. Wait, Vader. I need a shield bubble. Where'd you go? Well, apparently Vader doesn't have a shield bubble. <clears throat> so... That's awkward. So, I'm back like three hours later, and we're gonna try this balloon thing again. If you throw a shield bubble down like this, and then you throw a porta bunker inside, you might have to try it a few different angles. Perfect. Then, if you throw a launch pad underneath... Uh, whoa! Where'd my launch pad go? Okay, we're good. Now, this balloon will eliminate anybody that goes into it. So, Vader, uh, wanna try something for me? Here we go. Ha! LOL! Take that, it works. So this is a fantastic way to troll people. Anybody who uses this balloon will just die of fall damage. I don't know why it works, but it does. Myth confirmed. Can you mod the Octane by giving it a cow catcher and some off-road tires? That would make the most insane vehicle ever. I don't know if it's true. Let's see what happens. Nope. Well, at least you can't add bigger tires, but that might be because it already has giant tires. But can you add a cow catcher? Please. No, oh, why? Why not? That would be so cool. Fortnite make it happen. Myth busted, sadly. Enjoy Chrome. Will a dial -a drop kill an enemy if you drop it on them? Wait, what am I holding in my left hand? What is it? All right, anyways, I'm gonna call it in and let's go for a regular supply drop. We're gonna, oh, it's a flare. That makes sense. Now, Vader, stand there. Quick. I'm so excited. All we have to do is wait for five hours. There's no repairing here, Vader. What? Why'd you throw that? Here we go. Here it is. And, oh, really? Now I'm sad. I hate you, Vader. You're the worst. Ow. Actually, wait. Whoa! Myth busted. Can you grapple onto a shield bubble? The ultimate test. Vader's gonna put a shield bubble in the air, and I'm gonna try to grapple to it from underneath. Here we go. Oh, you can. What? I did not expect that to work, honestly. So you could just find a floating shield bubble. And use it like Batman. Myth confirmed. I'm actually surprised about that one. Not bad. But can you grapple from inside of it? Woo! You can. I didn't think this would be possible. There's a lot of things you can't do from inside or outside a shield bubble, but you can grapple, so you're welcome. Myth confirmed. So you see these launcher thingies? What happens if you send an octane through there? While boosting, it should be insanely fast. First, I'm gonna go in by myself and mark where I land to see if it goes further in a car. So, without a car, I land right about here. And now the moment of truth. Will I go further in my octane? Hey, you better stay away. Here we go. Ah! Wait. I went... Not as far? Not even close. What? I did not expect that at all. I expect it to be, like, way further. Now I'm sad. I hate you, Vader. Myth busted. What about without boosting? What? Without boosting, I go here. What? Myth is extremely busted. Oh, Vader just died to wolves. Nice. Victory Royale. Does the Octane Rocket League car fly in a tornado? And if not, what happens if you drop it in the middle of that giant chrome tornado? Let's find out. Everybody's favorite vehicle. But can it survive? A tornado. Wait. It doesn't get picked up. It's invincible. You could just jump through it and run through the middle? Huh? Myth confirmed. It's broken. Because once I get out... Uh-oh. Where'd my car go? Ooh, I definitely might not be able to get into that car again. Oops. 
Oh, it got pushed a little bit. All right, let's see if I could just sneak in and grab it. Ah, I got it. We're good. All right. So now, since it's invincible to wind, what happens if you drop it in the middle? First, I need to get literally 8,000 builds. All right. So I gathered a bunch of building materials, and now we're going to climb all the way up there. I hope this is enough. Wait, I can't build higher than this? Did I reach the build height? Oh, just kidding. Oh, I think you can't build near the tornado. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of scared of heights, even in Fortnite. All right. And this is as far as we can build. This is the most insane thing ever. <laughs> hey, does anyone know where I left my car? This could be the most insanely cool thing ever or not that cool at all. Cool, cool, cool. Let's not fall off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. What happens when you drive directly in the middle of a tornado? Oh! Wait, no, 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 don't kick me out. Am I going to die? No, we're fine. So even though the octane doesn't get affected by the tornado, it doesn't let you go in the middle. Let's try one more time. No, ah, I fell. Okay, whatever. The storm's coming in, so I can't check anymore. But sadly, the myth is busted. It does not let you go into the middle of the tornado, which is sad, but makes sense. I just drove into a rock. Ah, uh, I'm faster than you, but am I faster than a Lamborghini? Let's find out. Here it is. The Lambo versus the Octane. I'm not going to use any boost. Just pure who's faster. Three, two, one. Go! So far, I'm destroying him. And he's using boost too, and I'm not. Dude, this thing is so fast. You guys thought Lambos were fast. I can't even hear him. Dude, he's so far behind me. Okay. I thought the Octane would win, but I didn't think it would be this easy. Eh. Wow. Where is Vader? So slow. Wow, you're trash. Well, it's official. The Lambo is not even close to Octane, even when he uses boost. Bro, if I used boost, I would get around this track. I Ow. Myth confirmed. Can you drive your Rocket League car through a slipstream? Imagine being able to boost through a slipstream while in your Rocket League car. It would be insane. The moment of truth. Here we go. I really hope this works. And... Uh, it does not. Well, that's so disappointing. That was the most anticlimactic thing ever. Did I do something wrong? Let me try to boost in. Here we go. Nope, I go directly through it. So, that's a huge fail. Myth busted, sadly. Wait, can you even do that with normal cars? Hold on, I need to test something. Okay, it doesn't even work with normal cars, so never mind. That would be cool, though. So, Fortnite maybe add that. So apparently you could place a dial drop in the middle of a tornado. Let's see what happens. So I had Vader do this because I didn't want to mess it up. And he throws a supply drop right in the middle. And after about three hours, it lands right on top of the tornado. And you could fly and land on top of it. It's insane. Vader's so bad at landing on it. But anyways, yeah, there's just a random drop in the middle of a tornado floating on top of it. It's insane. Myth confirmed. If an enemy is right under your vehicle drop instead, does it kill them? The moment of truth. I'm gonna call in a vehicle. Vader? Stand right there. Oh no. Vader's on my team. Quick! Uh, become not on my team. Uh, well that's embarrassing. I don't think it's gonna get a kill because you're on my team, but it might. And? Nope, it doesn't even kill the wolf. I'll try again when he's not on my team. But honestly, this is the only way to get a car in Battle Lab now, so it's fine. So if you get out of a moving car and stand in front of it, it kind of launches you. There we go. Good job, Vader. So if you do that, it launches you. But now we're going to test it with the Octane. So we're going to drive. I'm going to get out, run in front of it. It didn't work. Let's try that again. Why isn't it working? I actually think the Octane stops way too quickly. Ah, I can't get in front of it. Can I do it with a regular car? Come on, I'm too slow. Ah. Woo, woo, woo. No. Yes, I did it. Okay, so I can do it in a regular car, but it, I think the brakes in the Octane are too good. 
Like, look, Vader can't even do it. It stops way too quickly. Ow! Myth busted. Or confirmed. I don't know. The brakes are insane. This is an insane car. I'm going to pickaxe my octane. And you may be wondering why. Why would you do that? It now has 50 health, which is not a lot. But I heard that if you chrome it, it gets health insanely fast. 50, 70, 90. Yeah, that's pretty good. It heals at 20 health per second, which is insanely fast. The biggest problem with the Octane is that it doesn't have a lot of health and it dies very easily. But you can fix that with a little bit of chrome. Let's see if it's different than a regular car. So that did about 20 per second. This one, okay, it also does 20 per second. So it's not different, but it's more important on the Octane because it's so easy to kill. 